Ross Mack. And I'm Andini. Welcome to the Finance Couch. Today, we're on a college campus in Los Angeles with financial consultant Ross Mack, helping students navigate their most common questions on their financial journeys as young adults. I'm Cameron, I'm 22 years old, I'm from Los Angeles. Honestly, I, I frequently talk to my friends about money just because we're all coming to the end of college and we're all starting to enter the job force or whatever career path that it is we're gonna take. I mean, I have friends who are in finance um, or are trying to get into finance at school, friends who are like the furthest thing from it or, or people like myself or a film major who just don't really know much but are interested in learning. Varying opinion between friend to friend. Um, but it's good to have all these different perspectives. I mean, I'm a student, I'm, I'm, I'm entering the world uh, and I just got to know, like, how much should I save from my income? Anytime you go on social media or TikTok, Instagram, it appears everybody's rich, right? Over 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Therefore, a lot more people should ask the question. And by nature, right, a rule of thumb, generally you should be trying to save 20% of your income. And I use the principle of a 50-30-20. 50% of your income after taxes should be going towards your necessities. Think of your four walls, that being rent, car note, grocery bills, utility bills, right? And then 30% should be going towards the things that you want to do. So whether that's traveling, dining out, video games, new designer sneakers or whatever, like those things, but 20% should be reserved for saving. And this is a very common budgeting template to actually think about where your money should be going, right? To ensure one, you're saving properly, but also not living beyond your means and controlling your inflows and outflows. So we should not be touching 20% at all? there are going to be different variations of where this 20% can go, right? It can go to your retirement accounts. It can go towards ensuring that you have a fully funded emergency fund, right? Because more than 50% of Americans, if an emergency occurs, they don't have access to $1,000. So you want to also have an emergency fund that is fully set up as well. And so that 20%, once again, can go to your savings account to ensure, right? Or high yield savings account, but also you're thinking retirement planning. Wow, thank you. Ross just gave me some really good advice about how to save money from my income. Prior to this conversation, I didn't know much about saving money, to be honest. In my mind, it's you get a paycheck and you spend it and you just, you know, keep making it. But there's clearly so many steps to take that can help with my financial security for my future. Now knowing the importance of, of saving money from my income is, is definitely going to be something that I use as I ease into adulthood. Be sure to subscribe to Million Stories.